Kivraj Kaif, Arbajan, Kumble, Nera, those are all known names. In comes Dinesh Mongia for uh, Sachin Tendulkar. Jay Prakash Yadav was in the squad for Colombo. He'll probably get a break. And it's interesting to see that India brought Sanjay Banga on the cricket at varying levels before. Corey Collimore comes in. So does uh, Vasbert Drakes. And there is place as well for uh, Paul from Carl Hooper. And it comes down a tail. So, Saurav Ganguly, you've won the toss. What will you be doing? In back. It looks a curious pitch. Now, you've also lost uh, Sachin Tendulkar and Zahir Khan at Purinji, two of your key players. Who have you brought in for today? Uh, we're playing in Ajit Agarkar in the side, and we've got uh, JP Yadav. Lakshman's obviously is back into the one-day side, so we've got a few changes. And must be a great opportunity for these guys with the injuries. Yeah, we're trying out a few guys for the World Cup because we have a pretty settled team in the one-day version. We're looking for one or, there are one or two places up for grabs. So we're trying out a few cricketers, whoever fits in for the World Cup. Good luck. Thanks, Fish. Thank you very much, Saurav Ganguly. Carl, uh, you've got some specialist one-day players who've come in for this game. How many of them are in the team today? We've only got in one. Um, Vaz Drake slots in at number nine. Um, apart from that, we've played the seven batters that played in the last test match. Uh, Dillon and Collins with Nagamutu. And you've obviously got some confidence coming off of the last test match. Is that vital going into today's game? We're very vital. Um, even though it's seven one-day games, you don't want to get too far behind. In fact, you'd like, love to get out in front first. Um, so, you know, we try to put a strongest team on the park. And hopefully this can do the job today. Good luck to you, Carl. Thank you. Uh, there we have it. The news from out here in the middle is that India have won the toss and they will bat. Absolutely lush green. It seems as if a green carpet has been spread around the ground. Now the surface here, normally a very good pitch to bat on. The last time we played a one-day international here, more than 500 runs were scored on this surface here. Let's have a look what it looks like this time around. Well, it looks nice and hard to me. It has been rolled plenty, but there are a few cracks on the surface which suggests that there is a bit of moisture in the pitch. I feel that this is going to keep low and the team that wins the toss, that is Saurav Ganguly, he's decided to bat first because he thinks that this pitch is going to get slower and slower. I've got Ian Bishop with me. Bishi, what do you think of the surface? Well, first of all, it looks like a picture of Danny Morrison's face, actually, with all these big cracks. If we look hard enough, we might just be able to find him down there. But I think Saurav Ganguly is right in looking to bat first because a match was played here not too long ago. And apparently the ball kept very low. So a lot of extra water has been put into this. A lot of extra rolling. And you're right. It's very, very hard. We don't know what it's going to do later on. So if in doubt, I think you should bat first. That is what Saurav Ganguly has done. Now, might be a little bit of movement early on. But hey, you have to negotiate that. Well, Saurav Ganguly has won the toss. He's elected to bat first. I'm sure he would like to get a score of 260, 270, which I feel is going to be a challenging total on this surface. Off the edge, the first ball of the one day series to get India its first run. Few more runs. Now, first evidence about how quick the outfield is. There was a gentle push in that area and carried uh, quite a long way. Looking for the drive, uh, half stop by Mob Dylan, but few more runs for India. Another couple, the second couple of runs that we've had in this over, so a brisk start for India. And again, that gap between mid on and mid wicket explored by Sehwag. gone fine this time first boundary for India wide of the crease and the line was superb Carl Hooper he's decided to have no slips and he wants them in at short extra cover and a straightish mid wicket great shot what a shot that is. Four hours gone, 20 for no wicket.
straight drive will bring another boundary for Virinder Sehwag. Sexy shot, you better believe it. Just slightly over pitched. And he just stands his ground and just punches it straight back past the bowler. Minimal movement. And as sweet as a nut. Just punches it. Doesn't try to do too much with it, Verinder Sehwag. It's gone uh, in the air. Not well timed enough, but could be enough. Another boundary for Sehwag. Well, he's faced 23 balls and decided, well, that's enough. Anything slightly short from you, Big Mervyn, is going to go. And as uh, Sandra Mandraga said, didn't quite get a big chunk of it, but got enough on it. That's in the air. No need to run for it. He likes it in that area, Saurav Ganguly. You allow him to free his arms and he'll make you pay the price for it. Well, I think we saw that in the Caribbean when went, anything was a bit wide of off stump. That's just too much width. Doesn't matter if it go in, goes in the air, doesn't matter if it flies off the edge. There are so many gaps outside that 30 yard circle. He's handled that. Short, not bouncing as much as Collins would have liked. And he's got the treatment. 41 for no loss. That's well bowled in the air. Drake takes the catch. Smart piece of bowling. He's surprised Sebag here. And India have lost their first wicket. Well, I think the West Indies have taken a very long time to wake up to this tactic to over in the Sebag. Pedro Collins hitting in his head in Mumbai the first test. He doesn't handle the short pitch ball. Simple dismissal. First wicket down. It's 43 for one. Mm, clear. I think this is good. A good move here by Carl Hooper. Nicely played. Just picked off his legs. And first boundary for Ajit Agarkar. Well, his batting has come along nicely in the last uh, six, eight months, ever since he got that hundred at Lords. That would have done his confidence a world of good. Nicely picked away on the on side. He's got a high back lift. That was a good shot. He struck here and got the wicket of Ganguly. Ganguly just getting a little frustrated. Collins on target, bowling straight. Nanguli misses, and Collins hits. Second wicket for the West Indies. Certainly didn't take Pedro Collins too long to find the right line. He got punished earlier on with one that was much too wide. He's right on target after that. It's 49 for two. PVS Lakshman has come out to the center. India have lost two wickets, both their openers back in the pavilion. That's nicely timed. He's so good in that area, Lakshman. And a nice way to get off the mark. Well timed and well placed. Just behind square. There is a fielder behind square on the onside, inside the circle. But he's a bit further behind than that shot went. up in the air and uh, luckily for Agarkar just clearing mid on again the ball getting big on him slow ball spotted early by Agarkar and pumped down the ground that's well played nice way to end the over 61 for 2 India But that is a top shot from Archer Zakaka. Sachin Tenduka would be proud. He's just belted that one through the covers. What a shot this is. 
along with Sehwag's flick earlier in the innings. This is the standout shot. And very much in front of square. Just have a look where it's ended up. That's a good shot. Using the area route to finish off the over. Magic Agata. Here, please, please, about that. 81 for 2 at the end of 18. This is a look at that boundary. Mid on and mid off were up in the circle. He did not exercise the option of pushing one of those back moving Dylan and Carl Hoover. And this is good. Loud appeal. This might have been some bat in that. Let's have a look at the umpire. Yes, there was. I got it finally, Sanjay. You're proud of that. I finally saw an inside edge from all this distance away. What's more important, Ashoka De Silva saw it. Again, an inside edge and a bit too high also when it struck. But he called it runs. So that was spotted. And it's good to see. And that is struck well. He's starting to flow. And that's gone all the way. Powerful strike by Agata. Fix it is. 90 for 2 at the end of 19. Fantastic piece of timing by VBS Laxman. And Dylan, well, he's astounded. That's a very good description. And the girls are dancing with good reason. In the commentary box, to talk to you about this shot, will be Ravi Shastri and Danny Morrison. Thank you, Ian. We've had some wonderful shots played already, but uh, I don't think there's been anyone uh, better than that. Made it look so easy, Laxman. Has a languid style about his batting. And he's got that away fine. Consecutive boundaries for Lakshman. And India getting a move on. Well, AJ Agaka, he loved it from the other end. And the crowd, they are having a ball here town because you cannot bowl both sides of the wicket and move Dylan and paid the price two straight two down lead that's well played that's a very good shot he gave himself room played it late and a boundary to end the over 115 for two Ajit Agarkar very quick between the wickets. Paul Lakshman there for the second. Lakshman this time getting good placement. Another boundary for the Indians. Super shot this. Uh, a little too short though from Nangamutu. And it gives Vivius Lakshman all the time in the world. Goes forward and rocks back. Stop just getting his uh, leg out there in the nick of time. Pedro Collins again, that ball traveling. He's got into a stride quickly. Lakshman, good opportunity for him as well. Get it! Get Almost hitting that back to the bowler. Lakshman it was chipped in the air, so the ball really not coming on to the bat now. No, he wasn't quite there, Vivius Lakshman. A good piece of bowling. For a second run here, yes, definitely on. Kaluka at the moment in the mid-wicket region. Not the freest of movers right now, Manny. Seemingly having a problem with his knee. That's gone a long way. Alan Summers in the mid-wicket region, but he won't get there. Not done a bad job, yes. Carl Hooper and Nagamutu, they're doing a good job for the West Indies. But Ajit Agarkar is the man who has been sent at number three for a pinch hitter. He's done a good job so far. He's moved on to 46. That was very short.
That's his second 50. This is Ajit Agarkar's 50. He's batted well. But the management would have uh, preferred him scoring these runs quicker than what he's done. Beautifully bowled. That was a class delivery from Nagamutu. The ball swerving into the right-hander and then after pitching, turning away. There are some cracks on the surface which are helping the spinners. Putting in a lot of effort there. That's a lovely delivery. VVS Lakshman had no idea about that. And that's wicket number three for India. 147 for three. Rahul Javed, the new batsman coming in for India at number five. Seven centuries and 40 half centuries in this form of the game, Rahul Javed. Not a fantastic strike rate, those strike rates. High 60s. Lot of work for Marlon Samuels. Will he get there? No, neither himself nor Dylan can make it. Timed it damn well, bisected the fi two fielders, and that boundary brought 150 for India. It was very short. Lovely use of the wrist from Ajit Agarkar. He's got to concentrate. David Hines out in the deep. Can get two runs comfortably there. That's gone a long way. That's six. 162 for three. Let's have a look at this shot. This is exactly what he's supposed to do. Ajit Agarkar, he's got to get hold of a few like that. Well bold, but it will cost the West Indies. And cost them a boundary. Four buys. into that gap again Mervyn Dillon coming around this could be close but that in the end that's four now the move to the man at short backward square 174 for three now the move is eight over that's too short that's a boundary. That's a great shot. He waited on the ball, Rahul Dravid. There was turn and bounce for Nagamutu. Very short. Took his time to adjust where he had to play that stroke. Found the gap correctly, Rahul Dravid. And that is why he's such a good player. A lot of work for Glassbert Drakes. Rahul Javed coming back for the second one. No one backing up at the bowler's end. That's very ordinary cricket again by the West Indies. A very soft word used by Michael Holding. Poor fielding, I would say. That's well played. It wasn't a bad delivery, but it's four runs. That's very well played. Use the pace of the ball just to open the face of the blade, Ajit Agarkar. Moves on to 76. Sensible cricket, intelligent. Already 11 runs coming off this over. Possible two runs here. Mervyn Dillon coming around. They will get them quite comfortably. celebrate nicely played by Rahul Dravid he'll get a couple and uh, that's what he'll try and do he'll try and work the ball into the gaps pick up the ones and twos Agarkar is playing some forcing shots at the other end good placement that's beautifully played he's batting like a proper batsman now Agarkar 
196 for three. Job at once two and gets it. So two runs coming up the last ball, six of the over, 207 for three. That's pulled away. He's picked the length up quickly. It was the slower ball from Collins and uh, Ajit Agarkar adjusted well. Just waited on it. But it was the wrong line, Rafi. It was leg side. Most of his protection is on the offside. And this is just where the West Indies have fallen down. They haven't been able today to maintain the pressure. Again, very well played. He's picking these slow deliveries well. And he's so quick between the wickets. That's good running. Pressure was on Collins in the outfield. He's put that down. Sharp return catch. Yeah, that was an opportunity that he would have wanted to have held on to. He was going against his natural momentum. His momentum would have been taking him to his right. That's out. In the air. Catch taken by Chris Gale. And a fine innings by Ajit Agarkar has come to an end. 95 from 101 balls. He's done the job for his team. Maybe it was the end of a good innings. Good smart catch by Gale as well. Had to react quickly. He's gone for 95. 222 for four. Rad Singh comes out to the center. Uh, this is uh, another huge talent. He averages only 30, but he's matured quickly as a cricketer. And a great one-day series in England. Did well in the Champions Trophy too. One more to come. Exciting young left-hander. Oh, he's going to get a uh, couple of runs here. Nagamutu, the fielder there. Found his pace. Pick up a couple of runs. Now the batsman looking to play in the air. And disappear this time. And listen to the crowd. You can't hear it. And another wicket down. The out up. He's going to have to go. Yuvraj Singh again, uh, looking to play against the spin. A couple of miscued shots before this one, this one straight to the fielder. Chris Gale has been busy taking catches. Yuvraj Singh gone for four, India 235 for five. Uh, Jay Prakash Yadav has come ahead of Mohamed Kev, which baffles me yet again. Age 28 and the 146th player to play for India. He's got it fine and he gets his first runs in international cricket. Oh no. Leg bike. Gets his first runs for India. Through leg bike. Bowl him. The pressure was building very quickly on JP Yadav. Very difficult time for a young batsman to come in and play. One dot ball and he went for the big one. No, one to forget. The young man, Yadav. Gets a blob. Doesn't trouble the scorers. Tough time to come in. He has gone for naught. And it is 236 for six. Yes, now we have Mohamed Kaif out there in the middle. Strike rate of 82.6. And look at that average. A staggering one day record at this stage of his career. Young man at 22. Bob Dylan. And very uh, competently off the mark with the very first ball that he faced. A 
Again, a slow delivery this time. Pictoli. By Kev, he's going to run hard. And look for two. In his ninth over is Vasma Drakes. Over the top bar, hasn't quite got hold of it, but the space is there for him to pick up a boundary. So Mohamed Kaif is on the move. India 247 for six. And again, he's gone on the leg side. So, a couple of boundaries coming for India. In quick succession, this time Dravid getting a second boundary. Brings up the 250 as well for India. Yes, he keeps his head down beautifully here. Even though he's just fetched it a little bit. And Hines, no chance there. And Hines, charging around the boundary. Couldn't do anything about that. Straight to Carl Hooper, who is on the circle. Direct hit may have got Dravid in trouble. Again, hit hard, but into the ground more. And Mohamed Kaif has taken the initiative here. He's given Dravid absolutely no choice. He had to go for the second. But Ashoka Dasilwa has gone for the third umpire. Dravid is pretty certain that he's made the crease. And uh, had to be called for, rightly so, because it's tight, but safe. Safety for the umpires, and that's what you need. You've got the technology. You've got to use it. And really, Mohamed Kev had to be complimented on that extra run that India took. It's gone towards third man. Couple of bounces into the fielder. Two overs left now. 2.57 for six. Ten runs coming off the last Merv Dillanova. It's not been such a happy outing for him here at the Kingdom Stadium. Drop it. Trying the reverse sweep and trying it well. The outfield is quick. And when you use the bowler's pace, you get full premium for that. And Carl Hooper's decided to bowl himself. This uh, final over in the spell. And not this, but Drakes, who's also got one over up his sleeve. He might come from the other end. Uh, this is smart betting. Slow delivery, and it's gone. Well, I thought it would <laughs> go longer, but a couple of bounces into the advertising hoardings. But importantly, a boundary of the first ball. Asking for trouble here, Vesper Drakes. If you don't get that slow ball just right. Now, I thought that went for half a dozen as well. Didn't quite get hold of it. Mohamed Kaif. It'll be very interested to see where this next delivery goes. Mr. Kaif, where's he going to go? Again, on the leg side, but this time between mid wicket and mid on. So started off with a boundary. And the fourth ball of this over also the same result. Skipper's pretty happy about it. Super shot, really intelligent, just waited and closed the face and split the gap out there of mid-wicket and wide long on, super shot. He's moved to 25 of 16 balls, Mohamed Kev. Consistency, the hallmark of Mohamed Kev. And uh, more runs coming for India. They love him. Oh, they love him. And so do you, Sanjay Mandraker. The fizzing up here really was a cheeky shot. Very good thinking. Intelligent batting. Not trying to slog it and moose it out of the ground. Just trying to flick and use the pace. The odd slow ball from Jakes and the odd quicker one. Very, very clever. So 14 runs of the first five balls. Mohamed Kev. Strike rate of 170.6. Plays it straight at this time. Dravid uh, looks back. You've always got to be alert with, the, with this particular West Indian side. Finding the block hole was Vasper Drakes. Dug it out well by Mohamed Kev. Just the one. But the fielder thought 
he'll get the batsman to have a rethink on that coming back for the second bonus run so india in their 50 overs in the first one day international have scored 283 for six so what a blitzkrieg at the end then from Mohammad Kev that allowed India to get a 283 from just for a moment. It seemed India might fall about 15 or 20 runs short of that number. But obviously Ajit Agarkar came off today, 95 from 102. We're going to talk about him in, at great length. Lakshman had a nice little presence in the middle and Rahul Dravid looks uh, increasingly better at number 5, 46 from 42 balls. Quite a few runs there. Mervyn Dillon went for 64. Vasper Drake's ball a lot better then those figures suggest one for 62 it's a good surface to bat on Pedro oh that's picked away no need to run for that that may have gone the distance in fact four signal nine for no loss That's a good shot. Just stood up tall and punched it down the ground. It's a strong man, Chris Neal. That was a delivery just short of a good length. This shows how much power he has. Not a bottom hand in that shot. plus two, 16 for no loss. A loud appeal for a catcher. Ahsoka De Silva is the empire in question. Well, uh, Nera can't believe it. He wasn't even looking back, but running all the way to drop it. Definite sound, look at the reaction of the batsman. Immediately looks back towards the keeper. That's the first giveaway when uh, you do get an edge. Nera was convinced. Definite sound. Well, very effective. It wasn't all that bad a delivery. He can be a dangerous player, Abel Hines. Well, the orthodox pull shot, and the man at mid on was right back on the edge. And this was hit so well, he hit it a lot better than it looked initially. Almost a vertical bat back down the ground. That's a tremendous shot. It shows that he's got a good eye to pick the length up. And again, hammers it on the onside. So what a over this is turning out to be. Nera had taken the outside edge early on. The appeal was turned down. Hines has responded with a couple of boundaries. It was not that short, really. It was a good length delivery. He went for the pull shot. He went to hit that just forward of square. He is a bit of a dasher. He can be very unorthodox at times, Wavell Hines. Two boundaries and two balls. The run rate's flying, starting to climb for the West Indies. They've gone to 4.97 now for over. Just looking to capitalize on the restrictions of only two being allowed, allowed outside the circle. Again, pumped back past the bowler. An eventful over, three boundaries in it, and an appeal turned down. 28 for no loss. That's in the air, taken. Yadav taking the catch. Chris Gale not timing it as well as he would have liked. And Agarkar has struck. Vital blow as well. Didn't move all the, the feet all that well, Chris Gale. We'll have a look at the feet. Just didn't get anywhere. Just stood up and tried to swat it down the wrong. Came off the toe of the bat. That's a good breakthrough for India. 
Chris Gale is gone. 48, 28 for one. So promotion here for Marlon Samuels. Impressed one and all with that test hundred in Calcutta. Nice way to get off the mark. That's a quality shot. Just whipped off his pads. First boundary for Samuels. This is very good. Likes to get onto the front foot and drive the ball down the ground. Just clip that easily through the onside. A good touch. And in the gap and gloriously done. Marlon Samuels continues to impress in India. He's in excellent form, Marlon Samuels. And I think the hierarchy in the West Indies set up know that he is a very good player. That's why they have elected to put him at number three. Just a matter of whether he'll bat through the overs. If he does bat through the overs, he'll certainly get three figures. And that should be a sound base for the West Indies to go on to get the score. Should bring up another classy boundary for Marlon Samuels. Brings up the 50 also for West Indies. 53 for one. So JP Ado with the wicket keeper right up to the wickets. And this has been smorted. Hit powerfully by Wavell Hines. Another four clouted by this left hander. Certainly looking to hit a lot of boundaries. Here he comes. Duncan. Again, nicely struck. Directed, but Samuel was well in. Nothing on toward. Well, nearly. Nearly a boundary. In fact, a boundary to finish the over. So, again, five runs of the second over for J.P. Adam. 68 for one. This was something was on the cards. A very tempting option for the batsman with the kind of feel that Harbhajan Singh has and the kind of pitch at the moment which is not affording too much spin. Again, he's gone in the air. Again, one bounce into the advertising board. One ball to go still for Harbhajan Singh. But a warm welcome. Uses his feet very well, Marlon Samuels. Gets close enough to the pitch so that he doesn't have to hit across the line. He can hit straight through the ball because he's that close. The ball isn't getting a great deal of time to actually turn. Good shot. Great opportunity for the young man to get his first wicket. This is as easy as it comes. Well, I've got to tell you, he hasn't had a great start. He got naught with the blade, and now he's just shelled a goober. And that's a classy shot. Nicely put away by Samuels. A little bit of wit on offer, and once again a boundary of the last ball. 81 for one. Yeah. That's racing away quickly. This is such a quick outfield. Just seemed to be a gentle push from Wavell Hines, but it was exquisitely timed. Young Yarov pulls a face because this little deft charge there from Hines, as you say, Ravi, it's a little dab. That's well played. Very well played. That was powerfully struck. That split the gap between 
deep mid wicket and deep backward square leg. Lovely timing. Yes, he just he just swept it round beautifully. Went with the line, just fetched it a bit. And a good welcome to the bowling crease. That's a quality shot from Marlon Samuels. He ex knew exactly what he was doing. It was hit inside out. Yes, this is class. Welcome to the show, Anil Kumble. He stepped off the uh, plane and train. That's well played. Again, he'll get a boundary for that. That's a controlled sweep. He knows exactly where the fielders are on the onside. Now to get that kind of placement, he had to play the ball late. Oh, well, we didn't see too many of this sort of strokes. Good running. Looking to head straight and finding the gap. 50 for Marlon Samuels. That follows up his 100 in the Calcutta Test. And once again, a classy effort from a classy player. Ah! He's bowled him here. Inside edge. Good piece of bowling by Kumble. 300 wicket in one-day internationals. 300 in both forms of the game. Very, very special bowler. Especially at home in India. And Marlon Samuels, little inside edge. And Kumble, he's bowled him all over the place. Gone for 51. West Indies, 114 for two. Meanwhile, Ramnaresh Sarwan comes out to the middle. So Carl Hooper will bat at five. So plenty of depth in this West Indian batting lineup. And Sarwan off the mark straight away with the boundary. 118 for two. Harbhajan Singh continuing. That's four. Good start to the over. There's no one in the deep on the offside. And Hines has found the gap well. Good footwork. He picked up the length quickly. Just fractionally short here, Harbhajan Singh. Moves on to 49, and to tell you more, Arun Lal and Michael Holden. Well, that's going to bring up Weber Hines in 50. Moves on to 53. It's not a morgue, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody is dead, it's just a West Indies boundary. And a brilliant 50. This is his eighth 50, Weber Hines. Very cleverly played shot, very deft, perfect placement. Outside the off stump, just that. Guiding the ball to the fence, using the pace of the bowler. 53 to him of just 53 balls. 11 boundaries. Yeah. That's gone a long way. Straight down the ground, that's the maximum. They're really not allowing both these spinners to settle. Willing to use their feet, playing very bravely, Wavell Hines, and also sensibly. This is a perfect hit, straight down the ground, the safest area. But if you can clear the field, then you can go anywhere. Reached the delivery, great hit. Has gone a long way. That's maximum again. Just had the feeling that something had to give and that is superbly timed shot. He judged the googly to perfection. And he played it with the turn. And that really did go a long way, inside out. Sweep shot has come off well for Wavell Hines today. And it went hard to JP Yadav. There's been a fumble, four runs conceded, 167 for two. Gone yeah. straight up in the air and has dropped it, Mohamed Kev. By his standards, that was a dolly. 
I wonder if that could be the match as well that he dropped. Because he's an exceptionally brilliant fielder, usually. That was not difficult. Once he timed the jump well, got it into the, the fingers, should have taken that. What a prize wicket that was. That was Chris Gale that he dropped. He's moved on to 89, and West Indies have moved on to 188 for two. Played to the right of Harbhajan Singh, who was late to react. May have spotted the ball a little later than he would have liked. As a result, another boundary gone against India. Well, I'm not surprised they're having a hard time spotting the ball in the outfield, Sanjay, as the bottles come raining down. That's not very nice. That is very, very silly from the people in the crowd. Sir Ganguly should not be pleased. I am sure Mike Proctor will be looking on. But it's a well-struck drive from Ramner Sawan. Good piece of timing. Tried his best there, Habajan Singh. This time the finger goes up. A wicket has fallen. Wavell Hines departs. And India get the breakthrough they're looking for. That has been so important for India. Very thick outside edge, an obvious edge on this occasion. This time near a nose for sure. Wavell Hines goes for a well played 93. It's 201 for three. 216 matches, so he's got tons of experience. And his experience will have to come into play here. Good delivery, first ball. Hooper off the mark with two. Good effort by JP Yadav. He goes for the big one, and he's gone, taken in the deep, two wickets in quick succession. And West Indies have lost their captain. We have behind the wicket was very important, but this is even more important to make sure you keep on taking wickets. Yadav the man again down there at long on. Hooper goes to four, it's 206 for four. Over a hundred matches for him. He's batting lower down the order in this game. He's at the non-striker's end. That's well played. That was hit straight. That's a good positive blow from Chandrapal. He realizes that West Indies need a sense of urgency. He doesn't have too much time to get his eye in. Quite a bit of room straight down the ground as usual. Both mid on and mid off were up. Sharp down really now deciding though that he need not have more than the customer of four fielders inside the circle. That's a big one. That's gone all the way for six. And a sudden silence around the ground. Not for the first time. Really got right to the pitch of that. Sawan got as close as he wanted to get. And that was well struck. Used his feet very well there. That fine. And settled for the single. That's in the air and into the gap as well. This is turning out to be a good over for the West Indies. Two boundaries already. And they are stunned again. Didn't quite get to the pitch on this occasion. Ramnare saw one. That's a good innings. He spaced it nicely, Sarvan. Second half century for him in One Day Internationals. Ashish Nehra comes inside the 30 yards. So it's gone over the top. And it's gone a long way. Right on the rooftop. Small man Sarvan hitting some big shots here. 
Well, boom. That is right out of the screws. And disappeared. Played it wide enough. Might just get the boundary here. And it does. Great placement by Shiv Narayan Chandapal. 254 for four. Again, in the air. And may have found the space between the two fielders. Comfortably done. Ashoka Disilva reckons that's a six. Yeah. This time is looking to play on the offside. He's done it well. JP Yadav won't get there. So another boundary followed by that six for Sarwan. And this is four more. We'll have to wait for the umpire signal to confirm this, but four runs up for there. Off the bat. 271 for four. Just a pouring of water bottles, empty bottles onto the field. And the Indian team arrived here after the test series. There were thousands at the airport to greet the team. Had a few outside the team hotel, giving them a hero's welcome. But when they do not play too well, which happens so often in international cricket, something that has to be accepted, this is what they react with. Up in the air, Gangul is getting under that one. He should take it. Takes it comfortably. So the break definitely has taken the toll of one West Indian batsman. Chandapal is the man gone for 23. Have we spoken too soon? And the previous over just mentioned about the hat trick. Funnier things have happened in one internationals. And Chandapal skies this one. He has to go for 23. It's 277 for five. 34 of age. Experience he has. Ridley Jacobs on strike. And it's gone straight back to Ajit Agar. So we have an easy run out. Ridley Jacobs gone. And what you said moments earlier might just happen, Danny Morrison. Blocked it. He knew he wanted to get runs. He premeditated that he was going to get out of the blocks no matter what. And Jacobs, he's run himself out for naught. And the West Indies are now 279 for six. Nagamudu, he's got to come out and face the music. Fading light. Under a lot of pressure. And as you'd expect, lots of discussions from the men out in the middle. A worried-looking West Indies skipper, Carl Hooper. Yes. Hit straight back. He saved a run. I think that's more important for India. It was a chance, but went very quickly to him. Hit with awesome power. And it goes straight to Saurav Ganguly for another single. Agamud is furious. So there you have it. Three runs to win with the last ball of the innings. Three runs to win. And that's four. It's unbelievable result. Sarwan is sprinting back to the pavilion. And what a shot to get that win for West Indies. Smiles all around in the West Indian camp. This has been an incredible match. And we have the result. West Indies win by four wickets. 285 for six in their 50 overs. And they won this first one day international by four wickets. Unbelievable. Just a sensational finish. He's disappointed, Saurav Ganguly. But really, they got back in the game. And the final delivery, he did give himself room, so and it was just too full. It was about a knee-high full toss, and didn't he play it beautifully? Reminiscent of Chris Cairns in that final in Nairobi in 2000. He runs off, arms pumping. What a hero. He's done the job for his team. He's 83 not out. What a great finish. Well, you really can't buy a finish like that for all the money in the world, can you? Sarwan, fine young player, making his name in this uh, big world of cricket. 83 not out. And in the end, I guess you've got to say the West Indies deserve to win it. None for 68 for Harbhajan, one for 48 for Anil Kumble. You'd have thought they'd be the match winners. Sewag, one for 37. He came to the party once again. And what a match for... Standing up hurt under pressure. What was going through your mind uh, in those final overs? I'm always thinking about his winning. I was thinking positive um, right through the game. Um, myself and Wave had a good partnership going, and um, Coach spoke about uh, 
was having a good partnership somewhere within the top four and that paid off today. The pressure would have built up during the break because uh, you came out, you lost a wicket, uh, you lost Ridley Jacobs as well and uh, the pressure suddenly mounted. Uh, what did you tell uh, Nagamutu when he came out? Yes, it did. Um, I mentioned to him, what I can remember mentioning to him was uh, just get contact. And um, he did, and uh, all I wanted to do was just to get down to the next end. Um, when I look up at uh, the stage, I saw everyone standing, and that tend to motivate me. Yes, it's a, it's a great moment to hit a boundary of the last ball. Did you pick your spot? Did you, did you expect Ajit to bowl some, somewhere, some particular area? Um, I was looking for him to bowl the Yorker, and um, he was trying that throughout the over, and um, I th thought my best chance was to chip at him and try and hit him straight or over extra cover. Well, looking forward to the uh, remainder of the game. Still six matches to come. Yes, we, not only, but uh, the rest of us are, and hopefully we'll be able to win this game. Well done, Ramnar, today. Fantastic performance. Okay, thank you.